way. So most SIBO is really caused by something called lactobacillus acidophilus, which is a, a common probiotic. Okay. So if you go to the store and you yep. buy probiotics, so you're going to likely buy something with lactobacillus acidophilus in it. Now, lactobacillus acidophilus, if he stays in your biome, he's a helpful guy. He's a, he's a great guy. But if he populates your upper GI, he is incredibly harmful. Um, and, and not that this is just observational, but we see, let's say, SIBO indicated in obesity quite frequently. We see SIBO indicated in type 2 diabetes quite frequently. So is he the cause of those things? Uh, I, we they're certainly correlated. I'll put it that way. But anyway, lactobacillus acidophilus is the bad guy, and we see this sometimes so overgrown. You know, we'll see it indicated in people's rectums and their gallbladder, but way out of bounds from, let's say, the intestine. So what? What? How does this happen? How could this possibly happen? Well, just think about the inputs. Okay, so if you're taking a probiotic, you're throwing gasoline on a SIBO fire, and everybody's telling you take probiotic. So it'll get better. Yes, they are. Uh, wow. No, it will get worse as if that probiotic has lacto in it. If you eat milk or dairy, you're consuming a ton of lactobacillus acidophilus because it's part of dairy. It's just part of the guys that are in dairy. If you eat carbohydrates and everybody says, oh, eat that broccoli, eat that cauliflower. If you're eating a lot of fiber in a fermenter, you are throwing gasoline on the fire. So these That's things insane. that we are told as far as our gut health, so fiber and a fermenter will really help, not in this situation, it'll really hurt. Probiotics wow. will really help, not in this situation, they really hurt. Um, fermenters, not in this situation, they really hurt. So you really have to go, it's a stomach acid thing more than it is anything else. And you have to do things that increase your stomach acid. You have to, you know, kind of keto it. So proteins and fats are great if you have SIBO, but carbs, not so much. You have to be really right. careful with the carbs.